FWeb stock photo feature gives you access to over half a million images that can be used royalty free in your website. Using stock photos is easy. From within your website project, use the window Stock Photos menu option to open the image search window. Search for the image you want by typing in the word or words that match your search criteria, and then press enter. If images are found, you'll see them below the image search box. If no images match your search criteria, you'll see the message no images found. Resize the search results window as you want. If you want to close the image search window at any time, click on the red close button. Scroll through the search results to find the image that you want to use, and then drag and drop the image onto your page. If you're importing a high resolution image, Everweb will ask you if you want to convert it to a web resolution image. Use and customize the image just as you would any other image in Everweb. The image itself is named after your search criteria in the assets list. If you import more than one image from the same search, the images are stored sequentially, as you can see in the example. Keep the image search window open if you want to drag and drop more images from your search results onto the page, or if you want to start a new search. If at any time the search window is obscured, just go to the window menu and select Image Search. You can easily add images from stock photos into your blog posts in exactly the same way. Just enter in the search criteria, and once you've found the image you want, drag and drop it onto the blog post editor. You can also add images from the search results into your blog post preview window in exactly the same way. Finally, you can save images into the assets list for use later on. To do this, first click on the assets tab. Next, search for the image you want. Once you have found the image, drag and drop it from the image search window directly into the assets list. Repeat this as many times as you'd like to get all the images you want stored in the assets list for use later on. When you want to use a saved image, just drag and drop it from the assets list onto your page as you would normally do.